Welcome to Creative Drawings, where embroidery magic begins. Today we will create a his and hers towel set perfect for your washroom or to give as a housewarming gift. We've already finished the his towel, so let's go ahead and go on to the hers towel. We'll begin by opening a draw document, create an arc, adjust an element, and then add lettering. The first thing you need to do to make the hers towel set is to download the her scroll from the website. So go on to www.creative-drawings.com. Go into Creative Ideas and Featured Projects and you will find a draw document that is called her scroll. Save it onto your computer while you remember where to find it. Then we'll go up and we're going to open open an existing document. I saved my her scroll in a draw files folder on my desktop so I would remember. So simply click on that and click open and it comes into a new screen. Check your hoop size to make sure you're working with the generic 100 by 100 hoop and click OK. Now let's select that scroll by touching Control and A on the keyboard. So now the scroll is selected. Go over to the left side and you're going to create a circular array. Remember with this tool if you've just made the his towel you may need to hold down on the tool and then move over to find the create circular array and let go. The circular array comes first into a full circle with your designs placed all the way around the circle. If you notice, let's zoom in just a little bit, the initial node has a green line coming out of it, if you notice that, and the last or the end node has a red line. We're going to work a little bit with that initial node to begin with. To create the arc, what we want to do, there are two different ways to do it. The first way is just to click and drag. It's a little bit more haphazard. You just kind of click and drag until you see how the scroll is going to look. So it's about halfway in the middle. I'm going to return us to where we were at the beginning. And now there is a mathematical way to do this too. It's to take the start angle and add 180 and then type that into where the end angle is. So again it's 183 plus 180 is 363 and enter. And that automati automatically makes the perfect half circle arc. Once you have that, go ahead and go back and find that initial node again with that green line and click and drag until you get your arc to look just how you like it. Now you can come in and go out. We are going to be putting lettering in the center so we want it a little bit larger. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that out just a little bit and this will be a nice place for the lettering. And then once you have that set the way you like it, apply circular array. And that just sets your design. At this point, let's go ahead and we're just going to rotate that so it's a little bit more halfway and scoot that over to, in my case, the left a little bit, but I want to make it so it moves so it's a little bit more centered in my hoop. The last thing that we're working with with this arc is this is not one full piece. It's still each little piece of the scroll is an individual object. So I want you to click on that very last object. We're going to mirror by the Y axis and I remember mirror Y just because I've tried it a couple times. If you click on the mirror X and it's wrong, just click it again. So it's not, uh, not critical. We just want it to go ahead and it's going to flow just a little bit nicer and finish off the end of that arc just a little bit better. So I'm just going to bring it down. Once I have this done, I'm going to select everything by the control A again and then slightly rotate 
so it's more even and more straight across. So there's our arc. We're ready for our letters. Go back to the Edit Text tool on the left hand side and click Edit Text. This time the font we're going to choose is Harrington. Again, because Creative Drawings uses the fonts that are on your particular computer, you may or may not have Harrington. If you don't, just choose another font. It's easy. Choose the font size between right around 32 to 35, depending upon the shape of your arc. And then click Bold. So now bring your mouse into the work area, into like kind of in the middle of your arc, and type in HERS. When you have those letters in the center, go ahead and click the rectangular selection. You can now move that around either down or up, left or right, depending upon what you need. And last but not least, let's choose another, a more complementary color than the white for that pretty, uh, pretty burgundy scroll. So that's it. It's really easy to make this hers scroll for your towel. Don't forget, go up to File and Save As. Make sure you save as the draw file first because that way you can come back and easily make changes and then save for your own sewing machine manufacturer format. To get the write-up for this hers towel as well as the his towel, go to www.creative-drawings.com go to Creative Ideas and look under Featured Projects. That's also where you'll find the HERS scroll. And remember, with Creative Drawings, it's where embroidery magic begins.